Hello Honda fans, so today we have Turbo Q number 72, which is the Honda Element. Uh, let's take a look here. The Honda Element, I guess, was available between 2003 to 2011. They were powered by 2.4 liter four cylinders, and they could have been either front wheel drive or all wheel drive. I had a friend that had one of these in this orange. It seemed like a pretty cool practical vehicle. A lot of utility. Alrighty, let's get this out of here. Let's see what Q did to cartoon this thing. Hmm, okay. They modeled this after one with fog lights apparently. Pretty nice orange metallic paint on this guy. Alright, not bad. So, yeah, Chorokus usually have really tight panel gaps, uh, so they do it pretty well. Uh, they must, the paint must be really thin to have such thin panel gaps. This is a smoked, really dark smoked plastic. You can see my finger kind of back there. And then these are your standard Chorokus wheels, not even painted. Uh, there's a fuel filler door there, handle grab there. The front end looks pretty good on this one. I mean, there's silver on the Honda badge. It's raised, and then there's a nice texture in the grill. More texture here. And then, yeah, the fog lights. And then the, these are the same transparent plastic, I think. Possibly it's a separate piece, because there's like an indentation going around here. Interesting. Ooh, unfortunately, seems to be some uh, paint missing, or maybe just black paint there. So that's a quality problem, because the thing was brand new. Uh, Alright, so that seems okay. The taillights are either painted black or that clear smoked. I'm not sure. You know, this the smoked plastic is so dark, it looks like black paint. So it says 2003. <clears throat> and then uh, it's a smoked base. You know, maybe these are supposed to be exhaust. I'm not sure. It's a st standard base, I guess. <coughs> Alright, so excuse me, let's uh, open this guy up and do a wheel swap. <clears throat> oh, I see. Okay. That motor goes. I'm going to drop in a uh, just a piece of balsa wood here to take up space. So, balsa wood, painted black, double sided tape. This plastic piece, why would this even be here? So you can see the construction, the whole thing is just one smoked piece of plastic and it's just a metallic orange sprayed onto it or printed onto it. I'm not sure how they do it, really, because it's so well done. I'm going to assume that belongs there. Oh, so that's what was trapping the front axle. I see, it wasn't the motor. So if that's the case, this is probably longer, a longer wheelbase than a typical Choro Q. Usually the engine traps the axle, but that would be back here. Or the motor, I guess, I don't know, what would you call it on a toy like this? Alright. Oh, so hard to do through a camera screen. Let me look off camera. Okay, so the wheels that I have are Black Rhino Boxers. I think the brand of wheel is called Black Rhino, and then the model of wheel is called a Boxer. So that's what I have here. I got some uh, Pata Fix Pro Putty. So we just pop it in here. And there actually is a brake system back in there, but can't see where I put the caliper, so the calipers might be out of place. I can always rotate it later. Okay. It's lowered, obviously. <clears throat> if I took more time, I could actually suspend it, but uh, 
I'm going for the slammed look here. So let's compare it to a couple other models. So there's an image of a Honda Element with those wheels. That's after I saw this image, I decided to make these wheels. I thought they looked pretty cool. I've never seen these wheels before, so that's my inspiration. Someone uh, thought of this but long before me. Okay, I don't actually have a 164 scale Honda Element. I don't even know if anyone makes one, like a true one. Maybe Hot Wheels did or Matchbox, but they're probably not 164. So this van is the closest thing I can think of. It's a TLV Toyota Town Ace. I'm going to put a K-Class vehicle up here. K-Class trucks are really small, but this is Daihatsu Tanto Custom, and that was made by Doyosha. Alright. Okay, let's get these out of here, and look at some uh, Choro Cures. So, uh, here's a Nissan Caravan by Jero Q. So interesting, it's actually quite quite a bit taller. And I think in real life maybe the caravan would have been bigger than an element, so there's a little bit of a scale miss there. And then this next one is by Tiny Q. It's a Toyota High Ace, which is definitely a, a pretty large van. Alright. So this is an interesting one. Uh, you know the. Let's see. I'm gonna look at this. This is a standard motor, and you can see that the axle is trapped by the motor, the front one. So is the wheelbase different? Yes, it is. So I never realized that, but I guess some of the Choro Qs do have longer wheelbases. But it's still the same motor, obviously. It's just a matter of placing that front axle. So that's a new one. So we're always learning. Alright, let's let this guy spin on its own. Okay, so, a very practical looking Choro Q. Although I still think it looks pretty pretty cool being all super deformed. And then with these wheels, I think it puts it over the top. I like it. Alright, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.